supposed to have a field trip today but because it rained so much yesterday they postponed it we were supposed to we were supposed to go to a pumpkin patch there's a local pumpkin patch that does a homeschool field trip day it was supposed to be today but it rained so much yesterday that it was really muddy and so they postponed it which is a bummer but i would rather go yes it's a bummer isn't it but i would rather go when the weather is nice and the kids can really enjoy it instead of going and sloshing through mud so it is what it is we'll go another day we're gonna do our regular homeschool stuff today if there is regular uh and then i think we're gonna make some applesauce what you thinking you think we should make some applesauce we've got some apples in the fridge that need to be used and the kids like applesauce as a breakfast, a snack, a side, for lunch or dinner, whatever. They like, I like applesauce. So I thought, you know what, let's do that with the apples that we've got. I saw my friend Tony over at Chaotic Country. She made some applesauce and I thought, you know what, let's do that too. So we're going to make some applesauce in a crock pot today. I'll link her video down in the description box too in case you want to go check it out. The kids have all fixed them some breakfast. I got some cereal for the boys. Audrey fixed some oatmeal. She's really liking oatmeal lately. So, they're having some breakfast. We're going to get started on school. Then we'll make some applesauce. And this is what you're getting today because I didn't feel like doing my hair or makeup. So, we keep it real. This is what you get today. get started on our applesauce and I decided to do a voiceover for this part because baby boy was asleep right there in the kitchen with me in his rocker so I decided to just keep quiet and do a voiceover instead. We're getting all of my apples out. These are some apples that we had left from when we went to the apple orchard on that field trip. I'll link that video if you've not seen it. I have mostly candy crisp, a couple of yellow delicious, golden delicious, and a couple of granny smith that I'm going to mix in there as well but you can use whatever kind of apples that you want. I'm using about seven or eight apples and then I'm going to start peeling and at this point I was really wishing I had gotten that little contraption that peels cores and slices for you but I didn't so we're doing it the old-fashioned way and that's okay it just takes a little extra time I 
think I will invest in one of those tools before I do this again. I think they're about 20 bucks on Amazon and you literally stick the apple on there, turn the knob, and it cores, peels, and slices all at the same time. And just like I was saying, you could change up the apples and use whatever kind of apples you like. You can adjust the spices, the amount of spices, the sweetener, the kind of sweetener you use, the amount of sweetener. Don't put any sweetener in at all. Whatever you like, this is a very forgiving recipe. You can make it what you know that your family will enjoy. I'm just sharing with you what I did on this particular day. I think at this point I had a little helper come in. I think Easton showed up and was helping me get all of these apples into the crock pot. Now we're going to go ahead and start putting the rest of the ingredients in. It's just a few simple ingredients. And we're going to get them all in our crock pot and get it going. First, I'm putting in some lemon juice. I didn't measure this out. I'm thinking probably about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. Just a good squirt. <laughs> and then some cinnamon, about two teaspoons of cinnamon. But again, this is, just make it your own. Use what you like and what you know your family likes. You could even put some nutmeg in if you wanted to, or you could leave it out altogether. Then I'm putting in just a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt, maybe about a fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm putting in four tablespoons of brown sugar. I change this up sometimes. A lot of times I'll do half brown sugar and half white sugar. On this day, we doing all brown sugar. And y'all, it was so good. I may just keep doing it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a stir, coat all of those apples in the cinnamon and brown sugar mixture. And then I'm also gonna put in one fourth cup of water just to get a little bit of liquid in there to get it started. You can either cook this on low for six to eight hours or on high for two to four hours. And that's what I chose to do because it was already a little after lunch time. So we put it on high and let it go for about three or four hours. You hanging from the tree? Huh? So you hanging from the tree? I don't think that limb will hold you up. Them big boys go. Where'd they go? There they are. Uh, are y'all squirting each other with water? Huh? Y'all squirting each other with water? Yeah. Water. You have water guns. Huh? Where are your water guns? Uh. <laughs> Every time we think that the garden is done giving. It gives us a little bit more, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, here it is. It's been cooking on high for about four hours. We're going to go ahead and blend this up and have applesauce. If you wanted apple butter, you could just let it cook longer. You could go ahead and blend it up and let it keep cooking for a few more hours on high, up to eight more hours on low. You could even add in a little more brown sugar, or spices, maybe some nutmeg or something if you wanted to. Apple butter just cooks longer and it will condense down more and get thicker. I think we're going to go ahead and stop it here at applesauce. Audrey's in here. She's got the immersion blender. She's going to stick it in there and mix it up. You could mash this. You could put it in a blender. Whatever you wanted to do to blend it up, we're going to use the immersion blender. Push that button. Which button? The bottom button. <laughs> Careful, don't let it splash you and just kind of move it around. <laughs> What 
we usually do with applesauce and apple butter is we just put it in something in the refrigerator because we eat it pretty quick. I have in the past when I've done large batches of apple butter, put some of it in the freezer. So that's another option. You could put it in the freezer and pull it out as you needed it if you made a large batch. But this right here will go pretty quick around here. We're going to put it in some little jars, put it in the refrigerator, and enjoy it. There's a baby and a CC and a slobbered mama. We're gonna let that cool down just a little bit and then we'll put it in our containers that we've got over here and put it in the refrigerator and we'll have us some applesauce. Audrey had a good point. She said that if you didn't blend it up, you could eat it like the fried apples that you get at Cracker Barrel as a side or something like that. It would be delicious that way as well if you didn't wanna actually make it into applesauce. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this one out. Thank y'all for coming along with us today. If you're not already subscribed, we would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. We do these daily vlogs, just taking you through life with us. We upload Monday through Friday, just sharing our day-to-day -day life with you. We do grocery hauls every week. We share some of these cooking videos. We homeschool. We have a newborn. We're about to move. All kinds of great and fun things going on around here, and we would love to have you join us and be part of our family because that's what we are. It's just one big happy family around here. Make sure you leave us a comment. I love talking to you all in the comments, so make sure you do that. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.